name is Erica Spittler, and I teach 7th grade language arts here at Bruce Harris Middle School. I agree that our main idea is that how it has something to do with how the orchestra is arranged. Today's lesson was now, a closing to so over a, a month and a half unit that we did in class, and it was my Music and Me project, and so today was to actually evaluate each other's speeches and presentations that we gave last night uh, in our little theater here at school. So they had to use a rubric, evaluate how did they feel they contributed to their group throughout this month-long project, and then they had to evaluate each member and not only give it a score based on the rubric, but also provide a specific feedback on uh, rationale of why the score was given. But they had to fill out the rubrics, actually, both rubrics online, and then submit them on the Dropbox that's on our website, too. So I don't get any papers, and I love it that way. Uh, to top of your Schoology page, and um, go ahead and under SpongeBob, Go back to materials. Click on materials. It's right above updates. All right. Bless you. So you should see assignments, online test quizzes. All right, go ahead and click on assignments, please. We have two new ones that we're going to work on today. All right, so you see the two. All right, before you click on anything, hands up. Oh, 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 okay, eyeballs up here, though. I need to make sure you're paying attention. All right. First thing we're going to do is a uh, uh, music you meet. We're going to do a group evaluation. Okay. Now, this is something, and I'm glad we're, you're not sitting necessarily with your group members. Okay. I'm going to show you what the assignment is before you open the file. All right. You see this document that I attached here. Let's look at this document. Do you see how when I clicked on it, this popped up? What button should we pick? Push. Save. Save. Actually, pay attention where it's saving. Where should it save to? My documents. My documents. You would hit save. It's automatically going to open your uh, my documents. Okay. So once you save it, uh, let me go ahead and open it so we can take a look. All right. First thing you're going to evaluate is yourself out of 10, 8, 6, and 4 points. Did you think that you stayed on task during an entire project and did his or her share of the work? Did you do your share of the work? Give yourself a 10 out of 10. Or maybe you're like, ah, oh, I stayed mostly on task. I did some of the work. And i like you to, even if you give yourself a 10 out of 10, please explain your grade. Mikhail? Is this on the speech or the... Uh... Oh, this is the whole Music and Me project in general. So from the very beginning, all the way at the beginning, let's go back a month when you had to choose your song, up until last night, giving your speeches. Okay. So then you're going to evaluate what kind of grade did my class make. Now, how do you mark it? I like you to just highlight and hit the highlighter tool. Okay? That's all you gotta do. And then you can click down here and you can type in why did you give your partner that grade? I'd like to know. Jacob. Does it matter what font we use? No, sir. Okay. okay. Are we allowed to put like the names of them? Yes, please put the name. Okay. Okay? That's a great question. Can I put the name of the partner? I, I, yes, I want you to put the name of the person that you graded. So go ahead, and if you haven't already, make sure you save it in my documents, and then go ahead and evaluate each other. The amount, the projects that we're doing, the um, the collaborative projects would not have near the impact or the motivation if we didn't have this technology. As um, soon as those kids are given the opportunity to direct their own learning and are to completely motivated because they want an authentic audience. I think that's the key with my technology in my language arts room is that it's giving these students an authentic audience and they actually want to truly produce something that's going to be seen besides me and the 20 other kids that are in the classroom. Now we're hitting, we're doing things that 
the entire community scene, and I think they take more pride in their work. How many people are done now with the group evaluation? Okay, those of you are done, eyeballs up here, the rest of you keep working. All right, if you're done, go ahead and go back to his our, our cookie crumb there, language art, and go back to assignment. And now let's go to speech self-evaluation. I want you to evaluate how did you do last night on your speech? The rubric, I attached it right here. I'm going to grade you. You're going to grade yourself. And we're going to average the two grades. Okay? All right. If you would take a look, you can look at the rubric. It's out of 30 points. Now, uh, I have the videos in our media, media album on Schoology, but it's taken a while to buffer. Mikhail, did that buffer yet? Uh, it's, it's still loading, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I also put them on our SharePoint site. So if you would like to go to SharePoint, just create a new tab and it should be your home page. Okay. Now, remember where we stored all our uh, pictures for our Music and Me project in my folder? Mm -hmm. Go back there. So you're going to go to the Aura tab, Shared Documents. And then the last one is, it has uh, movie speeches. Okay, when you click in there, I have your names next to them. So you can find which speech is yours. Those will load a lot faster. Jordan? Uh, do you want to save it or just open it? Save what? Uh, the, the rubric? Yeah, for The speech. rubric you're going to fill out just like you did on the self-evaluation and then save it and upload it again. Good question. Okay, so go, I recommend going through SharePoint to get your video since Schoology seems to be taking a while. Good, okay, Claire's already, I see Sophie, you're there. Cool. Okay, Ronnie's there. I have enough students that do not have internet access at home, uh, nor a computer. Um, however, they do have library access, but I find it very difficult to require projects be done online and then they can't um, and because of some students have a single parent they can't just go to the library um, they just can't stay after school they can't just come early so what's the solution I haven't found that yet um, however I do stay after school and I make myself available a lot of them eat lunch with me and we just hang out and we go on the computers and I try to make accommodations the best I can because uh, the benefits definitely are worth the inconveniences of trying to get the technology. I found that I get so much better feedback and answers if they're allowed to type them. So now a lot of times in my regular classes the students are able to type their uh, free writing right onto our discussion page on our website. Um, or just type right into their uh, e-journal on their netbooks and I'm getting substantial uh, feedback. It's been amazing to see how even the lower level students can handle these things when a lot of teachers want to say no they can't do it they can't even write their name on the paper um, and then they're producing things that are better than maybe even the honors kids are producing. So. All right, for tomorrow, since we're going to go to the library a little bit later today, this is our... The future of education is definitely the 21st century skills. Um, the kids are changing, and if education doesn't change, it's not going to be as effective anymore, and the students are going to find it pointless. What is school doing to help me? School is evolving. The doors are breaking down, walls are breaking down, and endless possibilities are at their fingertips, and we need to embrace it, not fear it. And we need to be stressed. We need to be out of our comfort zone. And now I got these tools. How can I actually make them engage with the content? And I'm thankful every day that I had this opportunity and I was able to share it with these kids and truly make a difference in their learning.